Apollo 11 was an inspiration, an invitation to a generation of Americans who could suddenly see themselves walking in those footsteps left on the moon, or at least getting somewhere in space. Our Mark Salinger met a man from Greeley who really did try to get there. You wouldn't think a lifelong quest to get to space yes. begins like this. It starts with some milkman in Kalamazoo, Michigan, who won three nights free Two, one, to go to Miami zero. Beach. 50 years ago this week, lift off. We have a lift off. Robert Stack held his breath with the rest of the world as the Apollo 11 blasted off. Knowing something's going to happen that has never happened in the history of this planet. He watched with his wife from the hood of their parked car with a front row view of the launch pad in Florida. At the time, he thought that milkman only gifted him a trip to view the launch. Space is where I want to go. As he watched the spacecraft disappear into the sky, the gift became much more. A sort of little voice that said, if they can do it, why can't I? Nearly two decades after the first steps were taken on the moon, How is the, quality of the, TV? the teacher and Air Force Colonel got closer to space than most ever will. I came close, and that was with Challenger. Out of the 80,000 teachers from across the nation who applied for a chance to ride the shuttle, Stack was one of 10 finalists. Would I still go in a space second? The retired colonel carries around a coin forged from the metal of the Apollo launch pad. It's a piece of that space history. A gift he'll one day give to his grandchildren. It was an incredible moment for the entire planet. In hopes it's as powerful as the gift the milkman gave to him. on Apollo 11. For next, I'm Mark Salinger. Robert Stack asked us for a favor. He wanted me to mention a group of people he thinks get forgotten in the Apollo story. All the people who sewed those spacesuits by hand, who packed the parachutes, who built the spacecraft, Robert makes, wants to make sure that they also get their due on the 50th anniversary.